Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Tiwi brand, that's T-E-E-W-E, -E -E, their 15 gauge carbon steel wok, traditional hand hammered wok, it's 30.4 inches. It's, it allows you to cook some amazing dishes in this because of the heat distribution it's gonna have. It has eight pieces of cookware. I'll be demonstrating the whole simple process of seasoning your new carbon steel wok. Now this is traditional hand hammered wok with that 15 gauge carbon steel. It's very, very thick. We're gonna actually measure that. And this premium carbon steel, heavy and strong, transfers heat more efficiently. It's no chemical coatings on there. Nothing's gonna come off. It's, health and, it's healthy and safe. It's carefully hammered by a professional, the perfect choice of professional Chinese chefs. Now, I've had different woks before. This is definitely the thickest one that I've ever had. Now it includes all these different uh, things right here. It has the handle. We're going to be uh, putting it on with one screw. We're going to be pushing that in over there. Before we do that, we're going to be thoroughly cleaning this. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It'll be the only time you're going to use soap. After you season this wok, you don't use soap anymore. Here's the brush you're going to be cleaning your wok with, with just water. Comes with this temperature ring right here which is really important that allows oxygen to come in and it feeds the fire and causes the heat to go into this properly. This is a drain so that you can put something that you're frying in there and sit it under so the oil will drain back in. And then we have these other tools right here and the spatula with holes. And I like that they're using a simulated wood handle. You don't have to worry about the wood ever decaying or rotting. And here's a ladle for grabbing liquids. And here's the main one you're going to be using when you're stir frying. And then here's another one you could use when you're stir frying that has openings in it to allow the juices to flow while you're cooking. Now it does come with a little instruction booklet telling you how to season the wok, but I'm going to show you all the steps and it's very simple to do. And it also includes some really nice high quality chopsticks and uh, which I really don't know how to use but if you know how to use them these look really nice they're very smooth solid wood so this pan is rated at 15 gauge and that is equivalent of 1.8 millimeter so I have a micrometer right here just wanted to test this gauge out across the end right here and I'm getting 1.84 millimeters so that's how thick it is. They're not kidding. This is a thick gauge, high carbon steel. Now, why is that important? Because that means this is going to conduct heat more evenly. Once you get that center of that wok heated up with your oil, it's going to keep that heat for a longer period of time for more even cooking. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean the pan with soap. And you could use one of these stainless steel cleaners or an SOS pad or a copper cleaner. You want to add soap and thoroughly get the oil from the manufacturing process off the wok. This will be the only time that you're going to put soap on this wok. Going forward you're just going to use the included brush and you're going to use water. Now you want to use a lot of soap as I mentioned and you want to do the bottom, the handle. Basically you're, you're going to be scrubbing the whole wok to get all that oil off before we do put it on the stove to heat it up. Now the color of this is going to go from this silver to a bluish color. You're going to see that. You want to thoroughly rinse all the soap off. Then you want to thoroughly dry it. And that's what it looks like. It's just a silver looking metal and we're going to heat this up. We're going to change it to a blue color. Next thing I'm going to do is install the handle. Now before we go and put the handle on, I just wanted to point out you could see the rings from where this was hammered. So this really is hand hammered, not by a machine. You can see them on the side there. So here we've put the handle in place and I'm going to use one of these wooden mallets just to make sure it's all the way in. And I'm installing 
the self tapping screw and that'll keep the handle securely in place so we here started the seasoning process so one thing you want to do is just put some aluminum foil on the wooden handle just to protect it it shouldn't get that hot right there but I've got a pretty decent flame going I'm not using the diffuser you're not supposed to at this point and you can start to see a color change a ring of blue right there and we're going to keep going until we have that all through the whole walk and now it has a full moon shape of the beautiful blue so you can see it's starting to get blue and I've got the flame I'm moving this around to get the different sections and the section that's by the handle is going to take a little longer but just to show you I got a thermal gun right here and it's like about 380 degrees 400 degrees and that's the temperature that's going to cause that bluing effect so you just want to kind of walk around and change the angle here till you have that whole walk in that beautiful blue color okay so it took about 25 minutes and now you can see it's got a beautiful bluish pearl color it looks very nice and uh, now we're going to shut the fire off and we're going to let this cool down naturally so now it's cooled off to about 110 degrees we're going to use the included heat ring and now we're going to put the flame on and we're going to put it on high medium heat not high not medium high medium we're going to let this heat up then we're going to add peanut oil and we're using paper towels and a little holder like that to wipe it and we're going to do the whole wok top and bottom and the handle also train action is it going yeah so i'm going to add the peanut oil i'm going to put a pretty decent amount and you're going to see it starting to smoke a little bit that's normal just coat the whole wok go all the way around including the handle and the rim we're also going to do the bottom part it might make a mess take your time get all the surfaces even this little chrome handle here This is what's going to prevent future rusting. See so, how so nice that looks? Just like that. Now we're going to shut the heat down and now the wok is ready to use. How beautiful that looks. Still pretty hot right now. And look how beautiful that looks. Now it's ready to actually start using it to cook. And as you cook it over and over again, it's going to start to caramelize even more and become more and more non-stick. So here's an example of using the included drip rack. So if you were defying anything, and you could just sit it on there and the oil will drop right back into the wok. Okay, so we're going to use the wok now. Got it all heated up. About 350 degrees, 380 degrees in the center. Okay, now we're going to put the next ingredient in. And now we're throwing in the garlic. Now we're going to throw in some peanuts. And now we're going to put in a Szechuan, a Szechuan sauce. 
I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. So one of the most important things is to clean it with the included brush and avoid soap. And that's basically it. Little pieces of food. Just use your nail. Now the caramelization will increase every time you use this and this will get blacker and blacker and that's what you want. It makes it more and more non-stick. And I want to make sure it's thoroughly dry. So I have it back on the flame just a little bit. And if you want, you could add a little more oil, but make sure it's thoroughly dry before you put it away. There's the final product. Look how beautiful that looks. Gonna taste delicious. Now after testing this TV brand, this 15 gauge carbon steel wok, this hand hammered wok, what do we think about it? Well, we seasoned it and it worked beautiful and it produced these really amazing dinner right here. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.